What's up guys, Sans 7 here, and comment to win this account right here. Just comment to this video, I'll announce the winner in the next video. This one is provided by Aiden Teo. Hey, thanks brother, you've really hooked it up with a great account right here. Look at that, four or five stones skin, and you just got really good talents on all these heroes. Perfect starter account, and best of luck. Don't worry if you don't win, because Aiden's provided another Atlanta core that will be given away in the Christmas giveaway, along with a whole bunch of other accounts, guys, so don't worry, and that's going to be... Probably on Christmas Eve, and then the winners announced on Christmas, so we can get them all out there for you guys on Christmas Day. All right, well, you know, I did a high might rating last time. Now I'm going to do a low might rating with my Smurf account. What I love about my Smurf account is the fact that I'm getting to play this game, Castle Clash, in a whole nother, from a whole nother perspective. I started my main account, and of course I power leveled everything. I used a ton of gems. I dumped a bunch of money into it, got all my buildings up, got all my walls up, and, you know, I ran into some issues where I couldn't raid and whatnot. Saw Murloc's post in the forums and was like okay yeah smurf because i had created another one back at blue stacks way back in the day didn't really use it too much saw his post i was like i'm gonna give it another shot you know i'm not gonna fail with this smurf and of course the first smurf i created i completely failed by dumping gems and you know just power leveling stuff why would i do it when i know not to but you know it takes at least two accounts to break the habits of spending that i had so i created this one and i'm you know Made it, you know, pretty clear to myself that, you know, no gems whatsoever, and that's how this account was created. I got lucky, I rolled a Paladin starting off, then I rolled a Thunder God, and I was like, yeah, this is a great smurf. And since then, I've been leveling it, and I've capped their levels quite a bit, but I've now got it to, it's a 79 days old today, and, well, it's a gold machine. And you'll see that, you know, of course, it's drop the pally, then I drop the heroes. I wait to drop the griffins. If you just spam the button, if you hold down the paladin first and you drop him, and you just spam that button and bring everybody else in, you're going to lose too many griffins. Now, trust me, I will do that. I will dump the griffins in, but that's towards the end of the rating when I just don't care because I'm already close to my goal. You can look in the top left of the screen. My goal is 1.05 million. That's what I want because then when I rate it with my main account, I'm getting 52,000 and change, something right around there. And that's not bad because remember, you only get 5% of the total that's in your Smurf account. And how do you link a Smurf account, guys? Well, unfortunately, I've been playing with it. I've been experimenting. And when I create a new account and I go to it from the back of the leaderboard, they're insta-shielded. I mean, it's just instantly, like, you know, no chance to get there. And it's like IGN is, you know, or IGN, IGG is put, you know, a little you know, fail smurf in there where, you know, you ain't getting to it now unless you go the other way on the leaderboards. Or once the leaderboards have reset, it's not getting insta-rated. And I believe that's to prevent these second accounts, these smurf accounts, to farm gold, farm mana. But there's also another way, and that's, of course, going from the front of the leaderboard. And that's something that kind of, I guess, main accounts, you've paid a luxury tax to get that smurf. You know, you've spent all that money on your main account. It's up there. It's easy to find from the leaderboard. Well, now IGG says, okay, that's fine. I don't care. You can get to it. You've earned it. That's yours. So I think that's kind of the way they're looking at smurf accounts. So if you're sitting there right in mid-range might, you're going to have to wait for that smurf account to le uh, not to level, but for the leaderboards to reset, and then you're going to have to find it from the back of the leaderboards, and it's going to be a pain. And, you know, there's there's no easy way around that, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I wish I had a simple solution. I've been trying to find one, but I've come to the conclusion that IDG is not going to allow a simple solution for the simple fact, you know, they don't want everyone to have a smurf account, but it's okay if you spend enough money to get high on the might leaderboards, or if you want to take the time, you know, to click through 3,000 pages. They don't mind that either. So take that in mind when you are creating Smurf account. And let's go ahead and get back to some of the action because what you'll notice is that when I'm Smurfing, I don't care. I don't look at the percentage. I don't care about 50%. I'm, right now, I'm actually kind of trying to dip out before 50%. It's kind of mean during the Christmas spirit, all this Christmas music. I almost feel bad now. But if you leave stuff out like this, I'm just going to do it. Sorry, guys. Um, you can see I'm just spamming the buttons there because they're not those griffins are taking no aggro from anything else They're you know, there's no towers near those troops. They well, they can't attack the air troops So I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna hit those vaults, and then I'm gonna go and That's just something that I'm gonna do with my surf now I'm especially doing it right now because I'm very close to getting the gem bonus for a thousand losses So, you know, I don't mind the losses. And you don't know when I'm skipping It's not just that they don't have a bunch of gold or a bunch of mana. Actually, I don't even look at mana, guys. I only look at gold. I do not care about mana. Mana is a resource in this game that is so over plentiful that I just, you know, I don't even look for it. So what I'm looking for is not only just a bunch of gold, but I don't want to have to take down the whole base. If you spread out your vault, I'm not even going to raid you. I don't care. I don't want to deal with it. I want someone that has clumped everything together or you got 100k. If you got 100k, I'm coming. I mean, plain and simple. If you got 100k in gold, I'm going to raid you. And really, with this setup I have, even after the might changes with, you know, the walls not counting and whatnot. 
I can come in wherever I want. My That's been my experience so far, and I've got to say thank you, IGG, for changing it because now raiding is just easier for me. You know, I don't know if it's because I have a nice balance between two ordinaries, two legendary, one elite, and that elite, you know, I, I might eat, I might eat him, uh, might consume him and level up, run the, you know, run four, which I've been running for for a long time. I'm not going to build walls, I'm not going to build towers anytime soon, maybe in the future, but for now, I, I don't need it, I don't play defense, I leave my gold vaults out. If you find me, raid me over and over again, I don't mind. Gold's too easy to get, as you can see in this video. It... I don't know, it's what, six minutes to fill it up from, I don't know, it's a, it's a, it's a little more than a, um, 100,000 a minute, I believe is pretty much my average, and this one I looked at and I was like, this is actually, a, this decent setup, it minus flip the two vaults where they are, make me work for it a little bit more, but I'm going to pay for this one for not using that restoration a little earlier, I knew I needed to dump everybody in because all their heroes right there, focus tower, aggro, they're bringing in the mecha men, at least thunder god, prox right there, but you can see that little grave marker, that's my pally. Oh, man. Screwed him up. But that's okay because I looked at it and I was like, eh, what does it matter? I'm at 940,000. Who cares? You know, I've got this one in one raid, two raids tops. My vaults are full. Then I can go just go ahead and start raiding over and over again and level my towers up because it's time to level my towers up on my main. And this is something I, I guess um, I've had a ton of questions are what level are my towers? Because I didn't show it. I didn't show it on purpose. But I'll go ahead and let you know that I've got one level 9 tower that's on its way to 10. And I've got four level 7 towers on their way to 8. So that's those are what my towers are at right now, and well, let's see what we got. We got 42,000, and this one, I mean, this is something that I'm going to drop everyone on the outside right here, and I'm just going to take it. Now, you'll also notice the last few raids, I've been dumping griffins, and I'll do that. I'll do that constantly towards the end of hitting my 1.05 million quota. When I'm around that, I don't care. I want it done as quickly as possible. There is a time in this game to just dump troops, because... I don't care about mana. Mana's too easy to get. I'm not looking to get it on my main right now anyways. So let's just dump the troops. I'll refill them before I leave and go to the main to take it. And that way I'll just get to that gold, get to that faster. And this one, well, this is the last one. I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, just 100% this. Yeah, I have the gold I need. I'm good to go. It's time to level up a tower. So this has just been a little low might rating in what I look for when smurfing. And... It's purely gold per minute. That is all I care about. I don't look for anything that's going to be XP related. Um, what's really fun is when I am surfing is like the base that was two bases ago where I had those towers and those that big, big vault that was full. That's another smurf. I love fighting other smurfs because I have noticed that the most difficult raids I have are against smurfs. It's great to see. Now, my smurf... My vault, my town hall, they're way underdeveloped. I capped them a while ago because I just didn't need it to go up any higher. I was worried about, you know, possibly changing things for the worse. And I'm glad I did keep everything as low as possible. Didn't play any defense, didn't grab any might for any towers like that. Because I don't know what the warders are like at 4,500 might. You know, that's something that I can test. I can grab some new heroes. I can level them up a bit and see what it's going to be like. But for now, I don't think I'm going to mess with it. And I'm just going to keep things the way they are. Because, well, when I can grab this much gold this quickly, I'm happy with it. All right, guys. So, again, just comment to this video, and good luck. So, I'll announce the winner in the next video. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Sam7 out. Mm-hmm.